Hi guys, it's Mrs. Macario, and today we're going to practice rounding to the nearest 10. Okay, so the first thing to remember when we're practicing rounding to the nearest 10 is remembering which numbers are the smaller numbers that tell you to stay where you're at. Okay, so 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 are going to tell you to stay. 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 are going to give you the green light and they're going to tell you to go up to the next 10. So we're going to practice that. Okay, our number here is 42. So the first thing we need to do is figure out which number is in the tens place value. So for this one, the 4 is in the tens place value. That means that the 2, which is in the 1's place value, is the boss. This number is the boss of this number, and it's going to tell it what to do. So, if whatever number is in the 1's place value, if it's 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, it's going to tell it to stay at 4. If the one in the 1's place value is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, it's going to tell you to go ahead to the next 10. We can see that the 2 is a small number and it's going to tell you to go stay at the 10s. This one will stay. Your 10 is going to stay at 4. Now you put the 0 in the 1s and you're going to take it to 40. So 42 is going to round to 40. Okay, let's try another one. This one is number 57. So again, we look at the one in the tens, which is the five. The digit in the ones place value is the boss, though. That one tells it what to do. Okay, so the seven is going to tell the five what to do. Because the seven is a big number, you can see it's on this side of our number line, it's going to tell the five to go up to the next ten, to add one ten. So that gave it the green light, 57. This goes up to 6. It's going to be closer to 60. Here's another one. This one kind of tricks kids when they see round 60 to the nearest 10. Sometimes people want to go down to 50 or up to 70, but you know what? That's already rounded to the nearest 10. 60 is already the nearest 10. You just leave it where it's at. When there's a zero in the ones, it's already rounded. Okay. This one gets a little trickier when we're looking at a three digit number, but we're still saying round to the nearest 10. So again, you need to look at your 10 place value. The three is in the tens, but the digit in your ones place value, this two, is gonna be the boss. That's gonna tell the three what to do. Okay. And again, if we look here on our number line, you can see the 2 says to stay. It tells that 10 to stay exactly where it's at. So you're going to round it to 230. Okay, you can't forget the 200. You have to always leave that there. The 100 stays, and then we're just rounding the 10, just like we always would. 